This video is focusing on uh, sensitivity analysis. So sensitivity analysis in, in its core is um, I want to know at um, a given point in my circuit how would its characteristic change as other components in my circuit change. One of the most common things we're going to we do commonly is take a look at a voltage at a node uh, and then see how the various elements in the circuit will affect it. If that's what you want to do, um, uh, that's when you want to use the sensitivity analysis that's available within the ORCAD PSPICE solution. So here is I have a circuit already made. And uh, uh, in here we have, uh, let me change this resistor to a, a more reasonable size right now is one micro. So let's make it 10K. Um, no. So I've got a simple circuit here. Uh, 5 volts feeding a few resistor. There's another current source in here and a few other resistors spread out. Um, so maybe I'm interested in finding out how does the voltage across this one particular resistor changes as we, I change the rest of the resistors. This is called a sensitivity analysis. So the first thing I have to do, I have to mark this node so I can refer to the voltage uh, of this node so the system knows where what I'm interested in so the key one is to go over here this this uh, um, icon allows us to place off page connectors so simply what it is is we're gonna take click on that get one okay and we're gonna place that someplace uh, well, right there and the name give it some reasonable name let's say out So, so we're going to grab this, bring it out. Let me go ahead and zoom in just a touch so we can uh, see it a little bit. So I'll just get this. Let's rename this as out. Okay. And then we'll move, we'll move that just over so it's a little easier to see. And finally, all we need to do is grab a piece of wire and connect that to our, the node of interest, which is right there. So now I can tell the system by simply going to PSPICE, Edit Simulation, make sure I have a bias point, click on the fact that I have a, I want to perform sensitivity analysis. And what I want to look at is I want to find out what is the voltage at out, how or it should be parentheses on both sides. So, oops. VF out, um, how sensitive is VF out to all the components in my circuit? And say OK. And we will run this simulation. Once the simulation is run, then we will get a simulation window. And let me minimize that. So, oops, not close it. Let me run it again. It looked like I lost it. And so let's go ahead and make it a little bit smaller so we can see. So this window pops up. This is the PSPICE analysis window. In there, I should be able to go under View, Output File. And let's go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. So this is the net, this includes netlist and all the specifics relating to this particular, um, that even gives you a warning, for example, says, hey, you, you had a simulation, you overrode it. Um, and things of that nature and it tells you are you doing a sensitivity analysis with respect to V out what kinds of circuits I'm doing in here and here's the net list that you are familiar with by now which tells us what are the component how the components are connected for example V1 is connected from node 486 to node 0 on and on and then at the very end of this we will get a brief outline of the various voltages in the circuit since this was a bias point and then at the bottom of the circuit we get a table that looks like this this table basically is saying how sensitive the out is to various elements in the circuit for example if you look at r1 which is the type resistor r1 its value is 1k 
and v out will change by minus 7 times 10 to the minus 1 every time this will change by 1 ohm the resistor and then the next column tells you by percentage so this basically is called a normalized one because it basically says this there is the r1 if it moves by one percent then the value of the voltage in uh, v at the point out uh, will change by minus seven uh, volts now if you go farther down for example you will find that it also gives you the sensitivity with respect to v1 voltage and current source so it's not just resistor it gives you the sensitivity as various things change of course in here we're talking about when v1 changes by one volt how much would the um, element changes and we go down here as a percentage uh, we will look at that as well so as a percentage that is two times ten to the minus two volt change for every percent that v1 changes so this is this if, if some of these if you're looking for sensitivity analysis this is a good tool to use is very quick so simply all you have to do is remember to give it a name by going to placing the off page indicator naming it going to pSpice running a simulation editing a simulation and making sure the perform sensitivity analysis which point you want to do a sensitivity analysis and uh, just run the sensitivity analysis and it will tell you how sensitive is VL to any of these elements. That brings us to the end of the sensitivity analysis video and uh, hope, uh, hope that's been helpful.